Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of the Undefeated Podcast. The only podcast with two undefeated fighters. Chatting it up. Listen, let me say this right now, yeah? If this is your first time rocking with the Undefeated Podcast, understand, congratulations, you've made it. All the moments in your life have led you to this point. It Here has. <laughs> it has. Literally, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. It's, it's great for you to come and sit down and go on this audio journey with us as we take you through the boxing annuals, bro, as we take you through the great things about boxing, the corruption, bro, the compu boxing, all of it, bro. We go through that here in barbershop style. Listen, if you haven't liked or subscribed, like and subscribe right now, bro. And if, listen, don't be one of those people that just turn up and just take the content and walk away with not giving nothing back. Disrespect, yeah? Like, subscribe. Bro, it's just, it's free. Just click two buttons. That's Let's right. Go. Buckle Talk up. Me. Bro, what's your tail of the tape before we get into this? Come on, fam. As you said, the weight is changing, fam. N- n- listen, weighing in right now at 19 stone, 66, bro. The weight is coming off me, fam. <laughs> I'm week four of this in uh, week four of training camp, fam. And it's just shedding. I'm shedding pounds, bro. I was nice. once one something, but it's going down, fam. I'm so proud of myself. I'm not even going to lie. But anyway, there's more to that, fam. No, listen, I never fought, never lost. If I did, someone gets knocked out. It's not me. Reach mad long. Mad countries. I'm not going to get into that for immigration issues, but end of the day, I'll represent any nation that wants me, fam. I'll even fight for Belize, fam. <laughs> Belize. I'll fight Mad. For Belize, I'll I respect fight. it, bro. I respect it. What's your tail of the tape? Boy, hi, coming in at a mean 6'2. Yeah, 6'2 with the shoes off. Mean 6'2. It's a mean 6'2. 6'2 with the shoes off. Do you know what I'm saying? Socks, even, when, even after the socks are off. Yeah. Still 6'2". Yeah, 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 yeah. Not six messing four, around. 6'4 yeah, in Air Forces. 6'4 in Air Forces, 100%. 100%. I'm going up a different height class in the Air Forces. Wait, what can I say? 13 stone, 10. Oh, Might wow. be 11. Yeah, just 8. After I go to the toilet, back down to 10. Got to keep it real accurate. Yeah? It's it's very mad. Reach? Oh, it's crazy. I could palm the ceiling, basically. Like, I'm... Um, yeah, it's, it's it's mad. Like without even no tiptoes, I can really get up there. So that's that's like from from the ropes. Like I probably jab somebody in the in the middle of the ring, calm like comfortably. Um, fighting record two and zero, oh, fifty percent knockout rate. Half the men that entered the ring with me, they left on a stretcher, bro. <laughs> All right, so you look and tell what me, me and Travis are really- <laughs> This is totally in a hotel right now, working, filming. We don't know he's filming, but I think we should start guessing in the comment section. Oh, that's going to be hilarious. Travis <laughs> is working on what? What's he working on? You can give the title. That's quite fun, actually. I'm getting back to check and see what they... That yeah, is, I know that's going to be hilarious. Yes. And you also got to try and guess the channel that's on as well, just for <laughs> the extra season. <laughs> If someone gets any part of it right, I'll let you know that you're correct. Yeah, 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 definitely. I'm always going to say something more than that. I'm always going to give away something. Then he said, I'll let you know you're correct. <laughs> nah. <laughs> what? So they can get that prize, what, in three to 27 business days? <laughs> if that's what they want to sign up for, I hope they know about escrow details because that's what's holding up your money, bro. I hate you so much. <laughs> um... People are tweeting me. To tell me, raw, <laughs> when are you going to pay KG? I'm like, listen. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong Look, man. You're wrong if, about what you move. When, like, you do, when you do business at this level, you know what escrow accounts are. Like, if you're not dealing with escrow accounts, I can't pay you. So, until you get that sorted out, bro, <laughs> what are we doing? What are we talking about? Uh, I'm not even going to waste any time talking about this. Cool. Let's just get straight into it. Javonta cool. Davis. Um, there's so much. Mayweather doesn't show up. He said he had a family... That's He's right, yeah. Family situation. Mm. Um, or whatever. That was all it was. It, that, and that's such a hard one because you can't argue. You like, can't challenge that. No it's like when you're a parent and you like yeah. you want to call in sick at work. It's just like, oh, my child's not well. Who yeah. is gonna challenge that? Mm. Do you what do you think though? Because it's the techie one because it out that he might sign, he might still sign with um mail over promotions. 
Because he softened up. He softened up how he was talking about me over, like, say, two days up to the fight. Do you know what I mean? Talking about he ain't decided yet. And then after the fight, he's like, yeah, I'm still a Mayweather fighter. So it's like, they could have been one of the ones where the convos happened and they were like, look, man, if it's more peas, come on, man. We've got that. You want this? We've got that. You got, like, then man just decided, let's have another conversation before you start moving mad. And I think that literally changed his mind. Because the way he was talking before versus how it's going on now, it's definitely a shift. But I think whenever somebody's absent, you can, you can look into that and be like, okay, are you, is this a real genuine one? Or mm-hmm. is this because you don't want to be seen with him anymore? Like, maybe you still tie him up business-wise, but... Said, I think a lot was said, and, you know, contracts and Leonard LB talking, Leonard was talking like there was more work to be done. It didn't sound mm-hmm. like it was over. That yeah. was the part that I was like, wow, he's talking about other fights for Javonta. And I was like, oh, this is weird. Because I yeah. thought the, the relationship was finished. But clearly, I know they don't want to let this thing go. You know, they don't want to let this thing go. But we need to ask ourselves, what is Javonta Davis? How, what level? Because I saw something from Stephen A. Smith. I don't know if you've seen it, but he says, Javonta Davis, pound for pound, is the guy right now. No one should... I don't want to hear any names. You know when Stephen A's... Listen, on <laughs> he's one guy, yeah, that I, I need him to stop talking about boxing. Like, I need it to happen. Because he... When he does his... When he's in his basketball bag, yeah, I roll with it. I'm an NBA fan yeah. as well. Yeah. I'm here for it, bro. Get your takes off. Even the controversial NFL, ones, NFL, still get them off. You know, yeah, NFL, that's his bag as well. NFL, that's not my bag, so I can't even tell if he's right or wrong. Like he's, yeah. But when his boxing takes belong in the trash, bro... They're the worst. Like, man said tank, what, what is he saying? Tank number one, pound for pound. Tank number one, pound for pound. He says he's That's so insane, bro. It's like, so what? So what, what are Crawford, Inui, Usyk, and these men supposed to do? Where are they supposed to go? He should just shush. Just relax, bro. <laughs> you don't get number one, pound for pound, after beating Roly Romero, fam. <laughs> no, he said he should just shush. Just shush. You know what I mean? Go, the NBA playoffs are happening right now. Talk about Steph Curry and, and Tatum and them, man. Yeah. That's your bag. <laughs> it's a hell of a series, though. It's going to be sick. But, yeah, that's your bag, fam. Um, but Javonta, though, where... I like the performance, though. I mean... A lot of talk on the thing, and I felt like it went another way, unfortunately. It got into the thing of... um, Obviously, Maestro came on and compared his career... Uh, to um Brian. Trevor Brian, Brian fan. Um and I was like That's that, too far. That was that was crazy, right? And I understand he hasn't there's things that he has to achieve in boxing, but is he a draw? Yes. 100%. Has he got power? Yes. Has he not been tested? Yes. But it doesn't change the fact that he is a draw and he has got power. These are sellable, these are sellable factors for anyone. Now, is he going to get taken out if he goes in the ring with those? Can you say that if he steps in, steps into the ring with the real guys, he's going to lose? You're not saying that it's not pick him. It's still going to be, if he goes in there with Haney, we don't know how that looks. Joe you know is, yeah? It's just one of the ones where people, it's like giving, giving the props before you've done the actual thing. Like, we just, we, we have to break the culture in boxing that does that. Where it's like... Yeah, no, he looks sick. Trust me, he'll beat all these guys. And and we just be cool with that, the fact that we've decided that he'll beat these guys. Mm-hmm. Go fight them. And I think with Tank, because it's not he's not even really had like one opponent where it's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. You start thinking, all right, bro, I don't know how real you are still. Because Wilder was sparking out a lot of guys, a lot of media opponents. Yeah. And couldn't keep Fury down. So now we can look at that power and say, raw, <laughs> what's... What does that? What does that? What does that really do to the top guys? I hear you, but when you listen to boxers, the the boxing community was a little bit split mm. on the Roly fight, saying Roly's one natural one three five, like he's he's comfortable at the weight. Um, there was a lot of stuff for talking about um, a puncher's chance, power, this, that, and the other. There was a lot of things that people didn't. No one said it's just a unanimous decision for um, Tank going into yeah. this battle, but what but afterwards. Afterwards, and this is well, it's, it, it's the case with all fights that we've seen right now. So I shouldn't even be surprised, right? As soon as you that person loses or it doesn't go the way, it's like, well, who was he anyway? Who was he anyway? And you know, I've been guilty of that myself. I've been guilty of that myself because it's one of those things where it's like, if you don't deliver the goods, it just becomes that frustrating thing. It just yeah. becomes that frustrating thing. And I know 
boxing boxing fan base like it can be toxic at times like there is literally a target for you to hit all the time every time you bust it they move it and go bro you gotta beat my man you didn't really you ain't beating you ain't fought no one and that's like <laughs> you said i was gonna lose yeah <laughs> no one before, before we before linden lost he had the best jab of the all of the light heavies remember bro. They yeah. said the best jab of the light heavies. His Yard jab is still good, though. His jab is still good. Yard does what but, he does, and I was like, how good was the jab, though? Was when, this is what I'm saying. Man's not, man's not saying, but who's Linden Arthur anyway? You're not supposed to. And I'm like, wow. Before it was yeah, Arthur should fight Watsy. Yeah, you know the fool of the amateurs, the ABA final, you know, the, they start doing all of that. And now all of a sudden, but Arthur, though, and I'm like, wow, okay. There yeah. is no way to, to get we're never your credit gonna, in this game. Yeah, we're never gonna solve this, but I do I do know that. Um, and it's it's a nice little segue into the Haney Cambosa stuff, but I mm. do know after this moment, now Javante's done this, and it I don't know if he's re-signing. I hope he does re-sign just so it, it's not start again in terms of getting these fights. I hope it's like Yeah. Silk says you no, these this is my promotion team. And let's go for it. I know Garcia's talking to talk. He was chatting around ringside saying he wants to fight um, Javon. That is a fight I want to see, by the way. Garcia just feels like hot air, bro. Do you remember that time when Haney was ringside at his fight? And he was like, any one of these guys can get it. And then Haney was just there like, let's go. And he's like, shout out Haney, man. That's my guy. I was like, shout out. <laughs> nah, bro. I'm here for smoke. No, but where, where where it's different, and I know you're saying this, yeah, but I think he's done with um, who's looking after him again? Hates Eddie Hearn, De La Hoya, De La Hoya, De La, are you saying F? Because I even I was listening to him, he's like F De La Hoya, like da, 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 da. I'm ready, like I'm not having that no more, like forget that guy. So I think De La Hoya's um, the light that was on De La Hoya before, you know, Golden Boy. Mm. It's mm. not the same. Golden Boy is not what it once was, especially with Canelo no longer being attached to Golden Boy and people just looking at it like, oh, is it really like, is this the promotional thing? But you know what's mad though? Yeah. Golden yeah. Boy, I think I think I saw Golden Boy sign a deal with the zone. Really? He they signed mm. they've been with the zone though. They've been doing some the zone shows. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think they renewed just... recently, so they're gonna be. I mean, the Golden Boy fighters will be on the zone, so that's like another stable on the same kind of network, they which is interesting. They've already been on the zone, though. They, 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 we've seen the Golden Boy um, nights already. They, it's not been the cards that have been. Incredible. I just feel, I hear you still, but I just feel like it, the door is open quite like. Well, I guess the door has been open, but now even more so now that they've resigned for Haney and Garcia to be on the same. They can both fight on the zone comfortably. Oh. That's saying that's saying it goes the way you it think. Depends who takes. Go. Yeah, exactly. That's saying it goes the way you think it's gonna go because it's true. Um, and we're here. Well done. Very good segue, bro. You did that for us. Come on now, free ball, <laughs> Zidane fam. <laughs> so, um, Cambosis, um, versus Haney. This is fight week. Mm. How you feeling? How's your I, 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 I do like. I still no, it's not. It's still Haney. I like Cambosis' style because you can tell he's a mind games guy. Like the guy's, he's he's a, he's a bullshit. Like if you really look at the the things he's saying, this snitch talk. Like this is the same brother that helped uh, Manny Pacquiao get ready for Jeff Horn. You know, like sparring, as in like I'm in the gym with my man. Like yeah. I'm in there in the corner. Donny is is chatting rubbish, talking about your countryman. Jeff Horn is your guy, fam. He's <laughs> your dog from your country. You was in there, you know what I mean? So that's like, for me, what this man is doing, he's trying to just rile him up any how he can. Because yeah. that man's still got a perception of Haney as if Haney's just this young guy, young naive guy. So this is going to be one of those things that I think will make people see Haney as a man. Do you know what I mean? Yes. You've come all this way without your dad. You're coming this way, you know what I mean? You've got a different corner, man. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? The whole thing is going to be different. But I think he wins this. He gets massive respects, bro. Traveling 20, 20 hours or however many, however long the journey is to go and beat man in his own. And you know you got to do it twice. That's a horrible, it's a horrible contract. <laughs> it's the worst contract. It's a, it's, I hope he gets more money in the second if he does win, though. For me, I, I don't even, I mean, obviously, I, 
that's his thing, isn't it? The money thing, I'm not going to spend none of that. So I'm not even really going to be passionate about it. No, I hope he My whole thing is... He wins it and then he has to fight him and he's still the he's still getting less as the winner, as the champion. That would be... Mad, yeah. That would be... Like, even if I'm not spending none of the money, like, that just feels wrong. Like, you it know... Is. On but you know what is level. For me, I just want him to get out of this thing with the belts. And then now we've got the gateway to the fights we want to see. Because no disrespect to Cambosis, yeah? All while you beat Lopez, my feelings on that Lopez victory kind of haven't really been changed. Like, I just feel like Lopez underestimated my man. They cut corners with their training team. Do you know what I mean? They tried to just kind of think that he's just going to go in there and blast him out. He's looking at Cambosis' previous performance and think, he ain't a puncher. You ain't going to do much. So I'm just going to come in there. Eventually, I'll catch you. You'll be over. Right. Underestimated my man completely. And he got exposed. Remember, he just came off beating Lomachenko. Ego yeah. can kick in at that point. So, I think you're under. I don't. Like, I, I don't you're overlooking. Nah, what, but I, what I'm saying is, I don't think Cambosis beats Lopez again. Obviously, yeah. Lopez has gone up now. Lopez has gone up now, so it's not going to happen. But yeah. I just feel like Cambosis is a solid fighter. Be ready for 12 rounds. But I think them brothers are going to beat. I think any one of them would have beat him. I think he's a problem. I think he's more problematic, and it's not like I've been following Cambosis' career like mm. for that, you know. But I just. I watched the the destruction or the takedown of T.O. And that was someone, again, it's desire and he wants it more. And who can go, like, to the well? Who's going to who's gonna mm. dig deep championship rounds? Who is that fighter? And one thing we can say is he has the heart. He has he the does heart, have heart. A warrior. And it's, he's going to stick it on Haney. And Haney the needs thing- to show me as, a, as an elite boxer that he's that level. Because this feels like the perfect dance partner for a person like Haney. This feels like the per this should be uh, style wise as well. Style wise, these two styles make a great fight for, for me to as I can't wait to watch it because you're gonna be someone that's gonna be on the like offensively coming forward. And I know Haney's gonna be fighting on the back foot, but he's clever enough to he'll have to stay busy enough. He'll have to stay he, busy in there while and he can't he, and, and let's be real, he can be hurt. Haney can be hurt. There we've seen go. him wobbled before a couple of times. It's gonna be a but but at the same time, all while we've seen these things, he ain't lost because of it. It's Possibly. like when people used to say about Floyd. It's like when people say about Floyd, Floyd struggles with southpaws. Okay, how many of them beat him? Mm. <laughs> None of them. Like, cool, you might have had a little bit of adjustment time. It ain't the same as losing. So for me, I look at this thing and I'm like, no, he has he's more skillful than Cambosis. Cambosis is doing all this stuff to get under his skin so that it can offset the fact there is a difference in skills. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? So, Haney's in this thing like, what are you talking about, bro? When are you going to stop this character, fam? Because, man, they know you, innit? Like, you can't tell me that I was I was DMing you, fam. We were chatting. I was giving you the inside scoop on my man because I want to see you win. I want you to beat him so I can beat you. It's easy yeah. work, bro. Like, he thinks he's playing mind games, not realizing he was already part of the chess board. He's on the chess board, bro. Like yeah, you were I, already in the mix. I've I gave you the stuff to get into the in, in my man's head to do yeah. that thing. You've gone in there and caught him off guard because he underestimated you. Now I'm coming to get those belts off you. You are part yeah. of Haney's chess game. Yes, I agree. So I understand why Haney did it as well. Haney knew Tio was moving crazy with those belts. Haney knew he weren't gonna see no Tiafimo Lopez at any point. And he thought to himself, what is my best chance? And the only person that actually sounded realistic that was going to fight him, he knew he's never getting Chavanta. He That's knows right. Gar- um, Garcia's on a mad thing. Mm-hmm. So he's thinking the most realistic guy is this Cambosis guy because he says he wants to fight everyone. He's already, he's That's already right. that he's not really in the chat. No one's really talking about his name. They yeah. said to the four kings and then... He's like, Ra, you lot acting as if I'm not in the division. So mm-hmm. he's upset about that. And he said, listen, I'll fight all of you. That's the that's the soundbite that I believe Haney was looking for. So now yeah. he's heard that. He said, advice, advice, advice. That's Come right. Stupid for thinking that is snitching. It is it's stupid, but he knows. Sn- man says snitching. Like we're, we're all ops. He knows. <laughs> you think I care what land we were born in? We are ops, bro. We all want these belts. Yeah, he knows though. But one thing I can say about him as well is that the guy's box office. The guy is taken. Oh, personality wise. P- personality wise, the guy is. This is. I love it. This is what you call winning the belts and 
cash becoming in. a champion. Yeah, no, yeah, he's becoming win the belts, cash in at all costs. Because now, like it or not, yeah, he set himself up for yes, he's got the reverse fight, but he set himself up for more fights because he could still lose, and the rest of them wouldn't will want to humble this guy. Like mm. I could see a Javante Davis saying, "I'd fight him next," just because if it if it doesn't go his way and he loses, because Javante is not in a no rush to go and win the title, right? He's still fighting, and others will say still say, "I want to fight that guy. I want to." People like that, you want to humble. So he set himself up in this business to do well now, post, after this fight. That's what you call, like, that's the di- opposite of what Ruiz did. Ruiz mm. just said, I'm buying stuff. Ruiz won the championship and bought everything, yeah? Never went back to the G- That's what he did. He just enjoyed. This guy understands. He said, come to my, you come to me. Just imagine mm. Ruiz forced, um, forced AJ to go to Mexico. Yeah, it's true. Imagine, imagine that. Like, you're the champion, bro. They have to um, go to the beat of your drum. And you should be saying to yourself, I'm going to hold this belt for much longer. It's not a once-off thing. And but this is and, I hate this guy. because he didn't. But the thing is, whilst, whilst I, I, I do get that, it does make sense. But I think a lot of these people, a lot of these things happen because of circumstance. So yeah. Loma didn't respect Tio, right? So he's like, no rematch clause. Trust me, I'll wipe over this Donny. Man's come in. You could even argue that Loma underestimated Teofimo Lopez. Yeah. He thought, I've got you. I disrespected you when I saw you out of the ring. And Le- Teo held that. Oh, he held that needle for so long. All his times in the gym. I can't wait to get hold of this brother. I can't wait. He disrespected me. He's going to respect me in that ring. Trust me. He was motivated. They cut no corners in that camp. He goes on to do the exact same thing Lomachenko did with his next opponent. He does not have that same fire in his belly for Cambosis. Yes. Especially when you watch Campos's highlights. He was not disrespecting Haney, though, at all. No, no, I hear what you're saying, but I'm going somewhere. No, no, let me land. So he, this is the same thing that's happened with my man. Straight away, he's capitalized off it. So he's capitalized off Teofimo not respecting him. He's gone away. Again, no rematch clauses in play here. Campos is on the business side, has made no mistakes. He said, no, you're coming to me, and there's a rematch clause, which means you're going to have to come here twice to be... The champion, right? Now, his personality is perked up. He's now putting himself to be like a villain type character and it's working. My thing is, the boxing doesn't get better because of this stuff, no. sadly. You understand? A motivated Loma going up against Tiafimo, Tia maybe it goes different. We don't know. Tiafimo motivated doesn't lose his belt to Cambosis. That's true. Cambosis was motivated to nick that belt. So for me, I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, there's still a shortcoming, sadly, with Ken Bosa's boxing. I've seen him against uh, my Lee Selby fam. The guy is, it's not that this guy's been this dope dude under the radar for long. He had a good night against um, Tio. So going into this fight, I'm like, no, Haney is going to beat him over 12 rounds. I don't think stoppage because he's a, he's a very tough guy and he's going to fight every second of every round, naturally. But I think Haney gets it done. Do you question if Haney could get rocked in this fight and be hurt, like by like a, a possibly onslaught that could come? Uh, I think I imagine he starts. I can imagine Cambosa's trying to. Start he's gonna rush him fast. He's gonna rush him first two two to three rounds. He's gonna be on him trying mm. to, and then he'll he'll definitely. It's gonna be tough for him because while it's definitely tough for Haney. He's going to feel, I have to put on a show for these fans. Cambosis is going to say, look, I have to do something. And maybe some strategy goes out the window as well. Because again, I'm the champion. I'm, I'm, there's stuff that I haven't ha- felt before. I'm the champion. And yes, it's in boxing fans won't expect him to just deal with Haney and a lot of boxing and stuff. But the Australian fans are not coming with that, with that with that mindset at all. They're but coming to say, let me see my guy dominate this guy. For, I don't like, think so. You don't think so? I don't... You think about how appreciative they're going to be for the fact that they have a fight out there in the first place. It's their champion fighting. I don't think they care how it looks as long as their guy wins. I don't think they're looking for a knockout. I don't think they just want their champion to win. So, if it's a chess match and it looks like Cambosis is doing all right, they'll be cool. Oh, Yeah. No, it can't be. Cambosis won't be able to play chess. He has to go in there. This guy's nah, got he's... a better IQ. He, he ain't going to... Kane's got a better IQ. He has to He has to 
not like roly rushing, but he has to rush in in some yeah, sort. Busy. He has to push it. He has to force him, and he has to keep. He you never want to take the injection out of the the fans being excited, you know? Because if what what's the name Haney could do is just frustrate frustrate everyone in the arena where everyone becomes quiet, where he just can't get close to him. He just looks... When it's, oh, him. yeah. When it's a clinic. shutout. When it's a clinic, when it's like, oh, my God, he... And you, the fans are hoping for stuff, but there's nothing they can get excited about because nothing is working. And that's that's what Haney should be getting there, saying to himself, look, I'm going to give them nothing to shout about. 100%. Um, that's the energy. And I think once he gets, like, two good rounds under his belt, I think we see that happen. Do you know what I mean? Cambosis ain't going to be able to keep up with him if he gets into his stride. He's going to have to make this fight a mess. Cambosis is going to have to disrupt Haney. He's going to have to get rough, bullied, dirty tactics, trash talk, like all of this stuff. You're going to see a lot of outside of the rule book stuff take place in that fight. And this is, but then this is where it could go into his advantage, right? Because again, his dad is not in the corner. He's someone that, again, you need to, when the, when the waters get deep, yeah, you need someone that you know mm-hmm. talking to you mm-hmm. because I'll second guess what you're saying to me at times. I'll listen yeah. to you. Yeah, I'll challenge it or I'll just do what I want. Well, exactly. Or you do it as one in the name of my dad wouldn't say that. There you go. Or you're getting to exactly this is your dad's your main guy, your main trainer, right? And in this moment, because sadly, and AJ is proof of this. Boxers want to change something that people have said about them before in fights. Like No, no, no. I don't think AJ's your, your case study for everybody else. He said that in terms of, we know how AJ said, I want to just show I can box, even though you're the champion. There's nothing for you to prove to us. Bro, you're the champion. Like, But I don't think that's an everybody problem. I think that's an AJ you know, problem. I think Haney would say to himself, not because Errol did the same. Tank, Errol, tank, Errol is, was... tank, is, tank is never coming to box. Mike Tyson no, no, never came to box. No, Tank is di- I believe Tank is different, but I'm talking about people that have been que- like they questioned Errol Spence's um durability and thing to go hard, right? And then he in against Porter, he changed yeah, this. He changed his style. So I'm saying that some fighters that are known for IQ or known we we question Haney's power, we've questioned things about Haney, where it's like, does Haney now say, watch this? Does he now say, look, I can... Because I think always that, though. I always believe a boxer might say, especially if that's been... um That critique has been pushed back at him, saying, you're... Go ahead. Not, on your, not on your title shot. Not on your title shot do you take in that point-proving thing. If you've been champion for a while, these whispers can get to you. I get it, because complacency okay. is, a hum- is a human thing. Yeah. We will always get complacent. It's like, you just... You cut corners in your camp, but because you got through last time, you think... It'd be right this time. And these two type of things happen. These whispers, they come and it's, it's all linked. But yeah. not the hungry dude who ain't climbed the mountain yet. Yeah, He's coming up to be like, oh, I've got to be at my best. This is my apex moment. I'm coming in to be and do all the things I know already work. This ain't experiment, <laughs> experiment time. Okay. So I think that's, I, I think we're, we're not going to see that happen from either side. I think both of these men, he's just tasted the, the nectar. This guy wants a taste. They're still hungry. Do you know what I'm saying? The only one who I would say would have got caught in, could get caught in that, that would be if you see Loma going toe to toe with my man and just really trying to slug it out. You'd be like, boy, I guess you're trying to show us you've got power, but do your Matrix thing, fam, and just, just be, be, mm-hmm. be great. Listen, it's going to, at the end of the day, the fight is going to be epic. I'm, I'm super, like, I'm excited. I, yeah. Same. Like, I'm not too sure what time it's going to be because their time zones are crazy. You remember that time? Bro, I remember trying to organise the interview with Nigel Ben. He lives in Australia. Fam, Donny phoned me up at like, what, quarter to one. How do you sound? I'm looking at... How do you sound? Hello? <laughs> I was like... I was like... I was like... like my girl was... <laughs> my wife was next to me. And I got up and I'm like, answer the phone. And I'm like, hello? Is that? Hello? He's like, hello? I'm like... Is that Nigel? Is that Nigel? What's the name Nigel? I had to get up. I had to take the call in the, in the living room. I was like, you know, you got, I want to put on my real voice, isn't it? Because obviously she's sleeping. I'm trying to wake her up. I'm whispering. Bro, I was gassed, no, up. Whispering to the dark destroyer. Hey, whispering. <laughs> yeah, hold on. 
Fam, I didn't know. I was like, Rah. I'm crying at all moments as well, in, man. In my head, I'm thinking, do you know that this is quarter <laughs> <laughs> Mad. Mad. Yeah, um, again, bro, breaking boxing news. Just seen that as well. Benavidez. Uh, but, oh, yes. Danny Garcia versus Benavidez. Um, 35th, um, 35th Danny January. Garcia? Yeah. That, Danny Garcia that we, like, the one who knocked out Mekon. Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia versus is agreed. But, fully agreed for the super wet. Um, it says Danny Garcia. I'm seeing it right here in my. Well, wait, class is this Benavides, the guy that's gonna fight Canelo at one six eight. I mean one sixty. It's right here, super world weight clash on the thirtieth in New York, bro. According what way is this fight happening? Listen. <laughs> oh, Danny Garcia, how did you negotiate? <laughs> no, Danny Garcia fought for. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? This brother was at 140. And then he's gone up to 147 just like just he's recent. One by four, yeah. He's, yeah, it's happening. Danny at 154. That's it. It's happening. Okay. All right. He's he's getting smoked. <laughs> Benavidez. I promise you, I'm it really can't be it can't now. be the tall Benavidez that's Junior. gonna fight Canelo. Yes, it is. Yeah, <laughs> Barclays, like the Barclays. It's insane. That's how oh, he's going. He, he's going to sleep. That's a big jump, though. <laughs> this is the most unnecessary fight. <laughs> well, we, he, we, we there's, uh, more news. there's more news of the press. I'm confused. Um, I need to look into this. This is nuts. Um, there you go. There's more news um, coming out as well. I've got a Ryan Garcia quote as well, but um, should I give you the Ryan Garcia quote while we're here? Go on, go on, hit me. Go. Ryan Garcia says, I've had to deal with a lot of disrespect towards me as a fire, even now putting the work. Honestly, I think it's just because I'm handsome. I think they're envious. Um, it's kind, cocky to say um, it's true. I'm handsome and they hate it. That's what he's saying. But Errol Spence has also said he's a man of his word because Ryan Garcia paid him the 20 bands that he owed him for that Davis um, Rolly fight. But moving on to boxing news that we actually care about. Um, <laughs> what to say. <laughs> um, KD speaks up and he says, yes, it is true. Robert Gus um, has been added to um, AJ's camp and he's now, he's in there. That's but I don't think he's, I don't think he's the head man. I still think um, Angel Fernandez is number one voice. Bro, <laughs> Angel get... A little sidestep, but yeah. You know the ones where the trainers go. Listen, listen, listen. How many, how many world champs have you trained? All right, let me just take care of this for one second. And now he's yeah, not a guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, let, but let, I like, I like, I like how Robert Garcia is talking from the clip you played on Monday Night Smoke. Oh, he sounds like the the voice that we want AJ to have heard. Yeah, you know I'm saying like I want, I want my fighter to be taking things personal that ain't even personal, just so yes. that he can find the smoke within himself. Very true. Again, AJ is definitely like I'm going to just talk about what AJ. We said that we wanted to see Femi, right? We wanted to see the guy. We wanted that Watford energy. We wanted whatever that whatever that thing that was that brought him into boxing, and said I'm here to smoke these man. We need that guy. That guy has been missing for a little bit. I don't know when he went missing, but he just went missing. It happened. Yeah, it definitely happened. I don't know what. I can't pinpoint the moment when he just went somewhere else. I don't know what he's talking about. Because AJ's already spoke about generational wealth and doing legendary things. But you can't. You kind of started to see that he was building his life for after boxing. Mm. But AJ, big man, you're still in boxing and you have all those belts. And I don't know if you just thought, I've got to the mountaintop and... Well, there's nothing else to do. All these other guys are chatting shit. Fury's not really here. Wilder don't want to fight me. Um, what What's going to happen here? You know what I mean? It's almost like it's all okay. Are you mm. with me? Mm. I, I, I definitely feel that that thing went. However, now he's taking that loss. We've seen, look at AJ's moments. The first thing was we saw AJ on Twitter. Actually, AJ IFL was is the first part of it, right? <laughs> what big Mitch. The IFL interview was awkward to watch. Mm. You started to hear just AJ more. It looked and like he was trying so to find it. It looked like he was trying to find it in that interview. 
a voice, right? But where it gets interesting is Eddie Hearn was the main spokesman for AJ. Kind of like how we used to watch wrestling back in the day and you had that that guy that was speaking for a big dude talk. in the mask yeah, and he don't talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a guy that does all the talking to get the point across and bring that personality. And Eddie Hearn was like AJ's personality, like it or not. He was doing all the talking. AJ would just go in there, mash man up and walk out. Life is good. You know what I mean? Let's spend some money. You know, that mm. was the vibe. Now, I I don't go to Eddie Hearn for AJ news. I want to hear what AJ has to say. And yeah. he's saying it. He's saying it. And yes, it's got awkward, but now I'm getting used to his personality. And even down to the point where even on Twitter, and I know you can say Twitter fingers, this, that, and the other, but we've seen him come out and speak about Khan's missus. We've seen him come out and talk about um oh. what's this um what's this fighter's name? The one that he um Joe Joyce. We see yeah, yeah. Smokey with Joe Joyce. Mm. He's things about Fury, this that Fury. They went back and forth for Fury. Remember the time we went back and forth for Fury and then Fury just stopped responding? I was like, bro. I is didn't weird. expect that. This is weird. Then mm. we have the recent, the most recent, and I think it is significant, and people are just un like. Um, overlooking it at, in a way, him pulling up at that uni, yeah, and addressing. Remember, this is the media darling. Talks mm. more. He there's a time in AJ's life where he wouldn't want a negative um, press from a talk sport, from a this or at, anything. At all. Yeah, he wouldn't yeah. Want none of this, or even for it to be in an opinion piece. This guy has been squeaky clean the whole way. How can you tell me any time that? AJ's been involved in something that's been controversial, except the Black Lives Matter, and he didn't that's even write it. That's but literally he didn't, it. Even, he didn't even write that, and it wasn't really controversial. He felt moved, and he wanted to speak on a situation that the whole world was moved by. Are you with yeah, me? So you can't really call yeah, it. They, they just the, the semantics of it. They just rushed it. The, yeah, they just did it. Made it a madness. But he's led after what he's dealt with before coming to boxing. I'm saying. He's led a squeaky clean, almost political campaign, bro. Now he said it is that's what it's been. Yeah, it's been perfect. Now he's saying, F all that. If when I step into that room, because somebody had to say, AJ, like, this is mad, like, it's people gonna see you're still Anthony Joshua. He's like, they they someone be talking to him. I don't care. It's like AJ, no, 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 I don't care. He goes in there, he knows it's being filmed, he knows it's coming out. I don't care. Yeah. Mm. Now you link up. We've got um now you link up with Garcia. Yeah. It is perfect. This stuff here, because he knows mindset wise. Even I even listened to Eddie Hearn say, I want to see. That the the shit house in in AJ, the person that knocks someone out and laughs, walks out, walks across, he's got his tongue out, laugh. You know what AJ does? That kind of I need that guy. I want mm. someone mean, someone dominant. Like we saw in that Usyk versus AJ fight, AJ as the fight went on, you felt AJ started to become, he started to look smaller, even as yeah. a big guy, right? Because it's, he wasn't as imposing. Spiritually, now, he was small. Sp- there you go. Now you're getting something completely different. You're saying, whoa, you're a big guy, and I don't never want to be in a situation like this with you. What say you, bro? <laughs> no, that's real. I, I do get what the point you're making here. There is a an all-round shift of the person that's taking place. You know, also it seems, you know, they, you know, we might say we're looking into things a little bit too much, but we might also be on the money here because this type of occurrence is not something you see from AJ, even in these big moments. Sometimes you see him rail up with other fighters, but mm-hmm. now it's very much like, you know what? I don't want to hear talk about me in a certain way anywhere. Do you understand? That's why I get on Twitter and I'm addressing certain things because there's a part of him, which I'm sure is, is, is you know, that statement where it's like, don't forget who I am, you know? Mm. Like, that energy there is very right. much starting to show itself through AJ's yeah. actions, where it's like, you lot have short... Don't think... Like, I ain't carried this thing. You understand? Men talking about, like, I'm scared. Scared of who? Scared of who? I thought all these different names, just because I... You know what I mean? That's because this is my duty as the champion. This is what I do. Don't tell me I'm scared of my man. 
Do you know what I mean? So I think that frustration is kicking in. And also the frustration with himself and the fact that I shouldn't have lost to this this guy. Because now I'm in this position where men are talking to me crazy again. I just did a rebuild from Ruiz and I'm here again. So it's like a lot of self, like self, like the thoughts of self. And now it's like the perception of him. He's like, nah, do you know what? Come here. You can't talk to me like that. Yeah. Because mm. this is what happens when people do stuff like that to guys like me. Like that's that's the message that he's putting out there. Because I know that he's on a mission to get respect back, and, I, and it's not going to be the same respect where it's like I want to show everyone I can box. It's like no, you lot keep doing this chop and change thing with me, and I'm showing you lot that you can't chat to me like that yeah. anymore. Yeah, do you know what I mean, so that's what I think is going to be. Hopefully, Robert Garcia taps into that and allows that seed yeah. to grow and turn to a tree. Because I think. Yeah. Then we just have AJ without the psychological obstacles. And he because, has to be sorry, go ahead. Because yeah, as with those right obstacles, there, on, those psycholo- yeah, sorry, bro. Those psychological obstacles are what has really affected him more than any opponent. One hundred percent. Ruiz on the walking doesn't look like himself. Goes into Usyk, does this thing where I'm trying to show it's like you haven't seen a genuine AJ go out and lose. Do you see what I'm saying? Like it's it's just that frustrating thing to see. From yeah, but yeah, go on. Yeah, and this is the, the point I was gonna make is the reason why you want to get this done correctly, yeah, is because the mega fight is next. That's AJ. Okay. You have to understand what's the name Fury sitting there, and is the retirement depends with the fakest retirement no, in the retired. world. Is the retirement because it is he's semi retired. He's in the gym. No, if it's Usyk, he's retired. I promise you, he's not coming for that. He doesn't want to. If it's mm. AJ, he's here for it. Like one, I promise you, if, if Usyk beats AJ, he's things gone. gonna relinquish. He's just gonna walk away because nothing here for me. I'm not really no, I but don't he, like Usyk. Do, do you know how bad that is though? Let's really break that down for a second, yeah. Yeah. Look at the look, look at the version of events. Usyk wins. Fury retires. Is that not ending your career on a duck? No, but because it won't be. I, I don't get it. I don't no, get I why we're let's. I understand for boxing, for the boxing purists. To be undisputed, undisputed one last time and then go. No, but check it out. For boxing pur- purists, right? It That, like, that makes, that's like, that's terrible. It's a duck, yeah? But for the casuals that are the lifeblood of this sport, yeah? And the opinion piece, and the, some of the strong opinion makers. Oh, the Gareth A. Davis say, articles. They will say to themselves, it was, he was never on his level um, Fury's done enough, and that guy could never beat him anyway. It makes sense for him. what more does Fury need to do? He's come and back to mental health. What, what more? You see, this is the thing that <laughs> no, but I'm just telling you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, how this thing is written. I'm telling yeah. you how this thing goes, not like I want this, but I get you, I get you. And he knows not enough people are gonna say, but he didn't fight him though. No one's saying that now yeah. for us, for us that feel this thing. You're saying, well, even if this guy lost him, it don't mean you can beat him. We all, we that's been our, our still fight, our, still fight the brother. There you go. That's been our thing, but we know that's not happening. So why I'm talking about Fury, I mean AJ. The point I was making about AJ needs to get this mindset because he has to be impenetrable. Because please believe, it's not going to be like the Dylan White build up where there was none and you was in Portugal and you never sat down together, bro. There's going to be real build up. This thing has to go on tour because we need to make this money. So there will be that. They will go and they're to looking America. to and they're go, looking to fight in the Middle East. They're looking to fight in the go. Middle East. So they need to. They're gonna have to they do a mad up, well, um, box office. Um, I don't think they're gonna have to do a proper tour. You know, I really don't. I think they'll be able to do it like a UK two, thing. There'll be two. There'll be two sit downs definitely because you can't leave out there, America, especially if AJ's got American aspirations. This guy wants to do it different this time. AJ. You know why I don't? I, I can't imagine that AJ does have a, American aspirations because who else is there outside of Wilder? You go out there for the Wilder fight alone. You think AJ don't want to fight in Vegas? How can yeah, but he, who? But he who do you justify in Vegas? It's just Wilder. Wilder, that's fine. That's fine. I have to. I have to go there, bro. Imagine that. Imagine you a whole know, career. A whole career. You haven't fought in America, and yet, wait, you fought in America, you lost in New York, you lost in the Mecca, yeah, and you and never came back. Never been, you've never been to Vegas. Yeah, that's mad still. That don't make any sense. That, mm. it, like, you know, it, that's, that's insane. 
you have to go. So now, because even if, let, let's just talk about potential money that can be made. If, mm. even if AJ was to beat Fury, we know that's a rematch. Vegas. Wherever. Vegas, you know. Nah. Uh, why not? They're, go, they're going to the highest bidder. They'll that's going, the highest that's going on the dunes. Oh, no, but anyone, Vegas could bid for it, though. We have to they understand. Could. They, they, yeah, they could. Like, they could. They could. I just don't know. If, I just don't know if the money's long like how it is over there, bro. If, if AJ can beat Fury, I'm beating Fury. People would want to see what happens next. That would be really insane. Exactly. But this is AJ must say to himself because these little all want money, right? Even Fury must message him and say, "Get it done, you dosser." He must message him. I know his dad. His dad is definitely rooting for AJ to get it done. Get it done because we're about to come up. Like we never come up before. You bef- remember before your star, AJ Star was the highest, and anyone's getting paid. W- like it or not, Fury has built his name in this time. And Fury now, we've also telling the world, I'm retired. Don't talk to me unless it's the bag. Don't, don't <laughs> it's so true. Unless it's the bag. It's the madness for this. We are now in a space, yeah. Where this is the moment, you know, when boxers say it's not time yet. This now it's time. This is time. It's time. For all. It's time. It's when it's one. It's the only thing that yes, can make two crazy. fighters, two fighters you hate each other. Text. Yeah. They'll text. Yo, yo, yo. Come on, bro. Let's not mess around. You Let's know what about it. that moment when they saw each other and they were chatting? You remember when he's come on, bro? That's it's what. It. Ma- it's it's one of the things where it's like these guys can't hate each other outside of a competitive energy thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I remember seeing a picture of Yard and Watsi together. And I was I was like, wow. I, I thought, obviously the fans <laughs> went yeah. through this. Them, them men are like, come on now. You know what's going to happen one day. We're going to get paid. Yeah. It's going to be cold. And it's just like, okay. <laughs> From the inside of this thing, it's different. There you go. But it all depends on, again, getting through this battle with Usyk and having that mindset, but you need to carry the same mindset over because the person that you're going up against is on the mind game team. Fury is going to try to break you down and he's already, AJ still going in, if he does get this Fury thing, um, low on the scorecards. Because he told him, you know, people said that, even though he kind of almost somewhat said it, People have said I'm not really a boxer, this, that, and the other. Rare, rare, rare. What yeah. do you want to have said that? I I'm I've been through to you, bro. I'm that guy. I need to not allow nothing to get in, bro. It's true. What and and I- you know, I think, you know, I think um I've always like when I imagine how that mental part of the journey would go, is AJ might get rattled by something that gets said, but AJ goes full roadman on my man. Like I'm talking like he gets back into that, you know, like, remember he was with Brazil. Nah, don't worry about all that, bro. Do you know what I mean? This guy's like, no, don't worry about the belts, bro. Forget all that. Like, let's go, bro. You're not going to disrespect man and say, like, the same AJ against Baby Miller. It's like, the the insults might not bang. No, they won't have to. But... They, they, exactly. The energy is there where it's like, because he's AJ is a pure come outside guy. Yeah, he's pure come outside, yeah, bro. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, Fury is yeah. very much dosa, da, 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 laugh. Let's all laugh at him. Ah, he's that guy. AJ straight. No, no, don't get me. Wrong. I'm not saying yeah, he didn't yeah, come outside, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. the personality type. Fury is yeah. very much like okay, ah, get his belly out, and yeah. you know what I mean. Let's laugh at him together and dance. AJ always goes to the come outside. He'll do the insult thing, and he's typical big guy. Where it's like, them man be like, you're a dickhead, but you're small, you got the bands you get, man. It's like, hey, shut up, man, you're slow, bro. What's that supposed to do? And now he's like, let's go then. And now it's like, oh, you, oh, I have. <laughs> uh, why are you trying to fight, bro? Let's just cuss. Jamil, AJ is a come outside guy. Let's go then. Yeah, when is... he tried to link Big um, Baby Miller backstage. Yep. All man said, forget the belts, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna start punching man up. This is that's the remember again. Like I'm gonna line up all these heavyweights and start. Right, that's after Dylan <laughs> the matting and he walked out. That's the what ring. I mean. That's there who man go. is. Yeah. So, so I'm happy that energy's back. I'm happy. This this for me is the move. I don't think you can teach right now. There's some boxers have got to a space where you can't really teach them new things. All you can teach them to be is just more aggressive. AJ is what he is now. And I do believe that he has enough skills 
to beat Usyk. To expand it. He's got to expand slightly on what he's done. Just with different, a different voice in the corner can help. Yeah, be all he needs to be is mean. Again, I remember watching Charlemagne and him on Breakfast Club, and I didn't like the way Charlotte was talking to him personally. Yeah, That's same, it. same. You, you you wouldn't treat you wouldn't talk to Wilder like this because you know it's the serious. room the room will change. You know what I mean? You you're definitely not talking to Tyson like this. As Tyson is old and grey, you're still not talking to Tyson like this because. But he was messing around with my man. It's like, nah, bro. I'm the heavyweight champion. I will, mm. I will, I will rearrange this studio space. Hundred percent. The furniture's gonna move in here in a minute, bro. New furniture in here, and I just need you to be on edge. That at, at a point, bro, I fight for a living with these hands. That's what I'm saying. That's all boxes. We always have to understand, raw. The room can change. The, whole the room can change. And not many people are going to be able to hold this brother back if he lets his hand and starts moving mad still. No one is. You no ain't outrunning him. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna get tired. It's yeah. about to be the worst experience for you in this yeah. in this room that way. <laughs> yeah, we've seen it with even John Fury lets us know the room can change at any moment. We've seen with uh, he he can't wait to let you know. He raises his voice in a moment. It's so it's funny when I see him chatting to David Hay certain times and I think to myself, you're chatting to a normal man, you know. <laughs> like David Hay's mad laid back. He's like, oh, ah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying he's gonna beat like and I'm thinking, geez, <laughs> like he's he's sticking it on a man that could lay him down like quickly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I find Joe Fury like. And the better thing about Joe Fury is that it's not even like he was a super elite fighter. <laughs> he's right. <laughs> like, he was a fighter. <laughs> yeah. But he weren't in, the, he weren't in his, like, his son's level. Like, he weren't there like that. Yeah, he's always on it. Um, right. now, I'm, again, I'm really excited for this thing. I don't know if the fight is going to be in July. It's yeah, looking like it might get pushed back to August still. It should because it's looking at, and also it's looking like the brought like because I think it's like network issues. So it looks like it's going to be the same as last Usyk fight where Sky Sports had the UK broadcast and the Zone got the global thing. That's not good for the Zone, though, is it? But it so looks the like people, they, the they're not giving up. The Zone would have to make this a box office thing. Oh, bro, they always, bro, American, I feel sorry for the American fans, you know. Uh, like, the price that we get for free, yeah, $75 for them, bro. Jeez. And $75 for Ro- Rolly Romero and Tank. Bro, six, just think of £60. Cash transaction. And That's then maybe if you're a betting man, direct. if you're a betting man on top of that, it's mad, bro. That's literally a pair of trainers and sports direct, isn't it? Like, a pair of nights. That's bad, man. Not for to me, view right to view the boxing, <laughs> bro. And it's mad because they'll do it casually, like it, it'd be the most open forum on the internet. UK fans, no fee. Americans, seventy five dollars. No, bro. I think it's so unfair. It's so unfair. So, and you know, there's only gonna have to do that to recoup the piece. These times, yeah. sports are just like, yep, yeah, one fight. Our audience, like that. and it was and what's worse, nuts is obviously AJ signed a lifetime deal with Matchroom, but still has is still making a deal with Sky Sport another deal because remember honestly, the last deal ran out, the last yeah. deal ran out after that fight. I honestly don't know what because that's that means, because Sky he has to have that. You don't leave the issue because you said this. You know what's so funny? You flowers to you, bro. You said this this Sky relationship. You said he's not leaving Sky. You nope. You don't. AJ, just... It sounds. It looks like if you look at the the tea leaves, it's like he's not fully invested. It's like there's a there's an AJ and Eddie separation that took place here, and I don't mean separation as in bad terms, but I mean just a slight distance in terms of I can speak for myself, like. You speak, you, like, obviously I appreciate you, you talking for me at certain times, but I'll speak. Do you mm-hmm. understand? 258 grew, Matchroom's over there. You saw Eddie Hearn say things like, you know, you have to ask 258 about this is this such a, such a, such a thing. It was very much like it's not us like this, like how it was. Mm-hmm. So when that happened, that kind of happened around the time of, say, the zone and, like, the split. So 
AJ staying impartial by backing away from the conversation entirely, he's it sounds as if he's like, I'm not ready to just part ways with them, man, still. Yeah, like, I don't know what your platform... I don't know yeah. what this, this platform was built for the takeover, it's, right? This this is a platform was told boxing's changed now, right? No, I'm not even what you call it. This is just what we've seen at the platform, right? And um, obviously the plan is somewhat changed in terms of talking about doing box office and this, that, and the other. And because it's supposed to be all boxing for like five, six, seven pounds a month, like Netflix. But and what is, it felt that's changed. What? Go ahead. And also, also it's like when you when obviously the, the change happened, it seemed like what are Sky Sports gonna do? Like, what's gonna happen? And Sky Sports have kind of They've won back some rounds. Like, the Khan brook display, that fight was everywhere. That made people go, oh, no, they still got it. And then they they're still... going to get Cameron Shields. Cameron Shields is, um, will be, will be, do you know what I mean? That will, um... Clarissa, Clarissa Shields, Savannah. Sorry, yeah. that's it. Sorry, Clarissa, Clarissa Shields, Savannah Marshall. That one yeah. there is going to be... That's their um... Ben Whitaker's debut in, um, July 2nd. Like the the machine still going, and it's like you see some interviews. Eddie Hearn's like, "Bro, they're doing all of that now." Yeah, you know I mean, where was all that before? Adam Smith's coming back saying, "Well, you left us high and dry." Like, so there's 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 that. It's weird to know that, that means AJ literally sidestepped that convo and said, "No disrespect, I'm st- I'm I, like I, st- I still chat to my man." Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. obviously, I know you man got beef, but I'm not I'm not really involved in that one because to have yeah. them man now still back at the table. It's interesting because I, I I would have thought with the matchroom duo I would have thought AJ does all his fighting on the zone and it's yeah. like exclusive, but clearly that's not the case. Mm. You know, if it's nuts, I'd love to be in those meetings though. Oh, <laughs> just just to listen, just to listen, yeah, yeah just to I'd listen. I'd love to be just to listen because it'd be fun. Do you know what I mean? It's an one. Yeah, but and for that to push the fight back is quite. That means that this conversation is an impactful conversation. Because, do you see what I mean? That means, like, it's mad to know that Sky Sports is still in the mix. But, again, it's not mad. They've always been in the mix when and it comes it, to AJ. It's the business plan, right? If if I'm an investor of the zone, I want I want AJ exclusively. I want that fight. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What? Are you mad? You can't tell me. I came to you because... You have this guy. You now you're telling me I can't get that guy... I'm telling you, this is a legal conversation because <laughs> now it has to be. I'm just imagine I come to you because you have a guy, and I'm like, "Hey, go, you can you keys to the mansion." I like but that. that room, but the room upstairs, that's his. <laughs> we said the master bedroom's his. What are you talking about? Why? Why not buy this house? What? I cannot go upstairs. It's locked. You mean there's a room in my house that's locked? <laughs> <laughs> That's, nah, see if I had to go up there. Go up there, big security guards. You literally cannot go there. Even if you wanted to get in. <laughs> you bought the house. You just like... <laughs> Your equity just doesn't cover that room, fam. That's mad. This, you see, this dog's got a special driveway and a special lift that goes all, all the way up there. He don't even have to see him. <laughs> no, and that's what it's like. You don't even see him. You gotta go outside and look up the top of the building to see that the light is on to know if he's there. That's nuts. That's they got sorted that's, out. Oh. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean it's gonna get sorted out, but it's one of the ones where now, oh man, there's a lot. Of, there's been a lot of stuff that's been said. <laughs> that's, I have to walk back, back to the table. <laughs> Yeah, nah. That's the awkwardest walk back to the table. Uh, <laughs> and you know, you know, you know, I just just give it up as well when he comes back to the table, bro. Could this be the negotiations that you never thought you'd have to have again? <laughs> up next. <laughs> and it, uh, it's very mad. It's very mad. But this is what I love about boxing, though, because there's drama in the ring, out the ring, at the out side of the, the ring, and upstairs in the board. <laughs> everywhere. There's drama everywhere, fam. Um, before we go, though, before we go, um, Congo's talking about mm. our guy Connor. Um, well, he's up against Formella. He's again, Connor for um, Formella, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. So I think Congo's wanna gonna wanna get it done. Oh, wait, when did decisively? When did... Oh, 
this was like maybe two, two or two or three fights ago. I think he knocked out Formula early though. Yeah, it's like two, three fights ago. Yeah, I'm seeing. I can't remember what round um, Connor Ben did it, but it was. It felt like an early knockout. Let me you you go look at the box wreck. One second, box wreck, because it's going to be hard to be that um, that time if it is. The one I'm was that, that, what about. that one the first round was though. The first round was the the next guy after that. I can't remember oh, his name. Yeah, then Formella got went down. Oh sugar, no, this was um yeah. no it points, went ten, it? ten round. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. He went points. It was the next fight where it was first round, twenty seconds. That's kind of it. Oh, yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. Bernardos went ten rounds. Mm. Um, Algeri went four, and then he done Van Herden in two. Yeah, because yeah. he got into space when you just knock your man out real early, real quick. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. Um, so Congo well, now. Have to, Congo's going to want to knock him out. If he can stop him, that makes a big statement still. A stoppage, and he just says, hey, listen, I'm back in Connor. this thing. Yeah, he says, I'm yeah. back. He's got yeah. to call a name. Um, I like that fight. If we're fighting, if, we're, if, if the names like that I'm seeing on Conor Ben's record are there, Again, like mm-hmm. and herding and stuff, and Algeria. There's no reason why he can't lace them up against That's right. Congo anyway. There's no reason under any well, you, Congo. Yeah, like, Congo coming up behind and taking on his opponents. If he's doing it in better fashion, there could be. I mean, there could be some shouts for that fight. But obviously, Congo's got to get quite decisive with it. But end of the day, if I'm coming up behind you on the on the fast lane, yo, you're gonna have to see me at some point. Yeah, but then it's again because Congo had that um, didn't he? he had that he had that out in, but it was a that was, who was it against? Um, what well, recently? Had, no, McKinson. He oh, McKinson. Yeah, McKinson. He he, mm. he was a points victory on his last one. Yeah, Kelvin. Mm. But then the McKinson one, and McKinson's yeah. just a weird. McKinson is just an awkward brother. Like, awkward. Do you know what I mean, that's why obviously Congo's he's on the comeback. Do you know what I mean, a win over for Miller brings him straight back into the conversation. Do you know what I mean you go and oh, but start to huck go down against McKinson though? Remember? Did he go? Yeah, I do, I do. But again, that it's one night in it. It's not like it's it's two different opponents. It's still one night. Do you know what I mean now he's he, he beat Formula convincingly. You stop him, you can bark at Connor. He ain't gonna get that fight straight away. Yeah. You got you got a while to get because Connor's trajectory is is he's going. So you're gonna to have to make a lot of noise, but in making the noise, he's, he's around no, enough. He's, he's around, still... but there is still benefit in making the noise about in that conversation. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Force yourself so, wherever he's at. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Yeah. Get personal with him because you know Connor's gonna bite. Bro. He will. Yeah, he will. It's, he will. It's, I it's wish like he's given like a two or three interview saying he doesn't care, but it clearly looks like he cares. So, um, <laughs> he he don't like to be disrespected. No. Do you know what I mean? He don't like it. Like, you can tell. Do you yeah. remember, <laughs> bro, the him and you back Judy and he got into it backstage. That one award ceremony. Oh, my gosh. I can't I remember the story now, but uh, you back Judy was talking about it. He's like, somebody tried to, somebody basically just arranged for us to be in the same place at the same time for some award thing. And whilst we were there, oh, I can't remember the story now. But either way, something, something happened and Conor Ben took it bad. <laughs> Conor basically said, look, mate, I walk around at one seven five, like <laughs> just to let you know that the weight thing is not the the, the obstacle here. So, <laughs> listen, Conor Ben's energy, love just, it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. love it. Yeah, listen, um, people, that's our time, man. Listen, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe. Tell your friends about this podcast, man. Yeah. And listen, don't forget, let us know what Travis is working on. In the chat, <laughs> tell us what channel it's on. Um, I'm gonna read, we'll read some of these out. That's gonna be episode. hilarious. I know yeah, it's gonna be hilarious. It's on and um, what it is basically. I can't oh, believe. snap! I, I'm so bad at promoting, bro. Bro, I'm doing a whole run at Soho Theater. You're taking a June, June 21st to the 25th, guys. Look, man, this is gonna be cold. Like, if you if you saw my show at Bloomsbury. Listen, and you and, and you enjoyed yourself, you know this is gonna be more of the same, more of the same smoke. This one is gonna be a big one. Do you know what I mean? Five nights in the West End. I haven't done anything like that before. Bro. Yeah, safe, bro. That's it's safe. it's a moment still. It's gonna be it's gonna be dope, man. Do you know what I mean? Last night, 
you know what I mean? Like, and have a nice little little drink up afterwards, like a little get together and just go out and whatnot. But yeah, yeah, in that yeah. week, like, I'm just be yeah, a strong mixy, bro. But like in that week, like, bam, 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 go to work. So yeah, man, get your tickets and come down, man. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna I'm be dope to meet you guys. Tickets they 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 changed. Um, so I think that's like the first the first night starts about thirteen, and it kind of goes up like fourteen, fifteen, like sixteen as the weeks go on for the Friday and Saturday show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Sorry, as the days go on for the Friday and Saturday show. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna gift um four of the great defeaters. I'm gonna give four of the great defeaters tickets on the Tuesday show. So great defeaters, Come. if you wanna go and see Travis, you know, what, make it a Wednesday show. Wednesday show. That's, that's press night. All right. <laughs> I want great defeaters in the room for the press night. <laughs> I'm, gonna give, um, I'm gonna give four of the great defeaters um, tickets to that. So just yeah, I don't know Calm. how we're gonna get it done, but yeah, I'm happy to pay. We'll figure it out. Defeaters, yeah. Calm. yeah so Calm. Let me know if you're serious about getting and supporting my brother. Um, yeah, but make sure you bring someone. Don't come on your own because I ain't gifted another person. But yes. <laughs> that, that's all I want as well. Make sure you bring Straight. someone. Do you know what I mean, if you can bring two, support the thing proper. But yeah, for real. I'm going to um, give the people them. So, yeah. Nah, that's love, bro. Okay. Come on, man. Listen, you know what time it is. We're out. Everybody stay blessed. Look after yourself. Till next time. Peace. Peace. Yo, people. Thanks for watching the Undefeated Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and all that good stuff, man. This is the place to be.